Today's challenge is all about cleaning up a messy data set. We've got this table here and it looks like multiple daily tables were merged. Just select your table, head over to the data tab and choose from table range. The problem? The first column has a mix of dates and names. So what's our goal? We need to separate set out, normalize the table and get it into a clean, usable format. We need to somehow untangle that first column. Let's extract the dates from the mix. We'll create a custom column. In the formula bar, use the function dateFrom. This function helps to convert values into dates. As you can see, we now have dates, but there is a catch. The cells that don't contain dates are showing errors. But don't worry, we'll fix it by using a try otherwise expression. This way, if Power Query can't convert a value into a date, it will replace it with a null instead of throwing an error. Now all non-date values are replaced with nulls. And let's go ahead and set this column to the date type just to be safe. Alright, the next part is to remove the dates from the first column and leave just the names. We'll create a new step for this. Here we'll use the table transform columns function. We need to modify the first column, so in the second argument of this function we'll define a transformation. Start by opening the curly brackets. Inside we reference the column by name in quotation marks like this. Then we use the word each and an underscore symbol. Close the brackets. But hold on, nothing happened yet. That's because this underscore is a placeholder for the actual transformation. We'll add the logic now. We will use date from again with try otherwise expression. This time the idea is if Power Query detects a date, it returns true. If it's not a date, it must be a name, so we'll keep the value. The first column now contains only names, while our separate date column is all cleaned up. Now let's fill down the dates to make sure every row has a corresponding date. With dates filled in, each row now contains both a correct name and date. Let's promote the headers. But keep in mind that Power Query by default uses a promote all scalars equals true argument, which could accidentally turn the first date into a column name. We'll remove that to prevent issues. Looks good. Next, we need to filter out any unneeded rows. Basically, rows without actual values. Once that is done, we can rename our columns properly, one for the names and one for the dates. The last part is where the magic happens. We are going to unpivot the data columns. Select the three data columns and hit unpivot columns. Once unpivoted, rename attribute to data to make things clearer. And you can reorder the columns however you like. And there you have it. We went from a jumbled mess of dates and names to a neat normalized table. You've successfully cleaned up your dataset using Power Query's powerful tools. See you next time.